Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while since I've posted a video on this channel and I do apologize. Um, I've been taking a little break, having some time to just focus on work, um, and I'm about to start school soon, so I've just been taking time for myself. But today I'm going to be doing a pretty fun video. Um, so I'm going to be breeding genetic horses. So I have recently gotten the Realistic Horse Genetics mod on Minecraft Java. And I have an assortment of different types of horses right now. And I'm going to be breeding more. And I'm going to bring you guys along for the journey. So this mod gives you Realistic Horse Genetics. So it actually is very similar to real life horses when breeding real horses. And I can go ahead and show you that. So we'll just come over here to one of our horses. So we have this um, Chestnut Tobiano Stallion. And he is 16 two hands. Um, we can hop on him. And if we go to the inventory, it tells you his gender right here, his height, um, and then his, his height and hands and his height and centimeters. And then he can fit two riders because he is so big. And then to look more into the genetics of this lovely stallion, if we grab a book, hold on, I'm messing it up. Well, his book just broke, so let me grab another book. Um, this is my first time playing Minecraft on a computer, so I'm still trying to figure it out, so bear with me. Um, if you guys have, like, any tips, um, on how to help better with playing on PC, please let me know. Um, so you can look at his different types of genetics, so his physical health, so he has all sorts of, like, different health over here, so, like, lung, gut, hoof, immune system, he has a speed and jumping over here, so he's not very good, with his energy wise, um, he has a speed over here, his jump is pretty average. Um, and then if we go to the next page, this is where all the genetics are. So I love playing with genetics, um, it's one of my favorite things in real life, is horse genetics. So he does not carry dun at all, he does not carry gray, um, no silver dapple or champagne, he does have the Tobiano gene, um, and that's about it. He has a goody, which is either going to be bay or sorrel, so he has the sorrel um, gene in him, and he has no black in him at all. Um, so he's just a regular chestnut Tobiano. Um, and then if we go and look at this guy, for instance... I'm not sure how to grab a book off of an item frame quite yet. Still learning. So this guy is not very good with his lung health, but everything else is pretty average or good. His jumping is average. Again, poor energy. Um, and then we can go look at the color genetics. So he has the um, black extension in him, so he can produce black foals. No sorrel or bay going on. He does have a little bit of dun going on, so he can pass on dun to his foals. No gray, no cream, no silver dapple or champagne. He does carry the Tobiano gene. And then nothing else, really. Um, mainly just Tobiano and then the dun extension and the black extension. So... He could definitely pass on Dun and Black to his foals, for sure. Um, and I do actually have one of his foals. I have been playing around. So this is one of his foals, um, this gorgeous leopard Appaloosa. I forgot who his mom was. I want to say maybe that cream over there. But the mare is the one that had the leopard um, gene, so she passed on the leopard gene to this baby. And he got the coloring from his dad, who was this kind of a Grulo Pinto. And then we have Roan over here. So we have this Roan guy. Um, he's really beautiful. 
He is pretty average with his health, except for his hoof health. He's pretty average with speed and jumping. Um, over here, you can see that he has the agouti jeans, so he has the chestnut in him. This would be, the lowercase a would be bay, so he's not bay. And then the capital A on the other side is um, sorrel or chestnut. So he has the chestnut jean. No dun, no gray. Um, he has the roan jean. And that's about it. So he could pass on the roan, he could pass on the chestnut to his babies as well. And then let's go to this mare. So this is a, looks like a Perlino mare or a Cremillo. I think it's a Cremillo. Um, she's pretty average with everything. Um, if we look at her jeans, so she does have the black extension, so she could produce a black full. Um, she could produce a bay full. No gray at all. She does have the white jean, so she has the um, the like the jean that will make them like gray out. She has the Tobiano jean, so she could carry Tobiano onto her babies. Um, and she has the splash gene and the leopard complex gene. So she could produce an Appaloosa baby. She could produce a Tobiano baby. Um, Sabino, which is what the SW is, I believe, is the Sabino. Uh, or the splash white, I guess. I don't remember what Sabino would be. I think Sabino would be SB. Uh, I'm not sure what the W20 is, like, um, the cream. Or not the cream. What is it? The white gene. Um, I don't know what W5 is. Um, I'm still looking into all the genetics, but she could produce a leopard baby, which is um, her foal over there. And then um, she could produce another like cream foal, or she could produce a Tobiano, like one of these guys. So horse genetics are really fun to play with. Um, so let's go ahead and start breeding some babies. So I have a few horses in mind. There are some that are really good. So I want to breed this girl and um, she's more of like a, a silver bay kind of horse. So I want to breed her and I know that her jumping is pretty good. So I know that her foal will hopefully have a pretty good jump. And then also we do have genetic donkeys and mules with this mod as well. So these guys over here are the mules and the guys in the back are the donkeys. Um, so a lot of cool colors going on with the donkeys and mules as well. So I have these breeding pens over here that we're just going to put her in. It does take some time for us to wait for the babies. Still a little slow at this, guys. This is only like my fourth day playing on a laptop, so I'm still trying to get a hang of it. Um, so I think I'm going to breed her with a good jumper. I'm trying to remember if I have any good horses, good jumpers. Um, and you can also see like the size difference. Like this is my biggest horse, these 17 two hands, and then this is my smallest horse at 12 and a half hands or 12 and. 12.3 hands, I think. So my biggest horse and my smallest horse. Um, and you can also breed for height as well. Maybe this guy jumps okay. I don't remember, but he's really cute. Yes, he does jump pretty good. So we'll breed these two together. Right, and then it is realistic so you don't get a full automatically the mare is just pregnant right now so we have to wait it usually takes about 20 minutes for the foal to be born um, so now we can go ahead and take our stallion back and he's pretty big too he's sitting right at 16 hands and the mare I believe is 14 three hands, so hopefully it'll add some height to the baby. Okay, and then I want to find a different pair. 
So I want to try breeding this mare. She's a like a dapple mare. She's really pretty. I have not bred her yet. So we're going to see what foals she can throw. She's 14-1, so she's kind of on the smaller side. I might breed her with the roan. I have not bred the roan stallion yet. Um, but she also, she's pretty fast, but she's not the best jumper. So let me go grab the roan stallion. I think they would have super cute baby together. He is 14 too, so he's also on the smaller side. He does have a pretty good jump though, so maybe it'll improve the foals jump. Alright, and then we're going to go ahead and breed these guys. Bridge to mirror. Alright, she is now pregnant, so we're going to go ahead and take our stallion back. And then this mod is also really cool because if you have a gray, um, they can be born like bay or black and then they will slowly start to gray out like this guy did. He was originally black and he started to gray out and become just a gray. So that's another cool thing with this mod is they are realistic with their gray as well. Um, let me change it back to day really quickly so it doesn't get dark. Okay, and then I do want to try and breed the Sabino over here because I really do like her. She produced some good foals. Um, and I'm not sure who I want to breed her with. I might do this leopard guy. He's really cool. Or the black. I might try the black maybe. Or should I do the gray? Let's try the gray and see if we can get it to gray out. Let's try that. She's really nice. She's one of my favorite mares um, that I've gotten so far. And I actually bred her myself. Um, I don't remember who her parents were exactly, but I did breed her myself. She was one of the first foals that I produced on this world. I want to say her mom... I don't remember. I want to say her mom was this one with like the muley coat color on it. Not the muley, but like the... I don't know. I guess the start of Sabino, I suppose. Um, let's do the gray. I have not bred this gray stallion yet, and the foal's going to be pretty tiny because he's only 14 hands and the mare is only like 14 two hands. So let's go ahead and breed them. I definitely did not take the saddle off, but that's okay. So now she's pregnant, and we're going to take this guy back to his little paddock. And I am going to create like a big barn. Um, not on this world, but I'm going to create like a new barn using this mod. And I also am going to get like realistic tacma, realistic shaders, um, things like that to make it as realistic as possible. Um, but right now I've just been like playing with the realistic horse genetics um, and trying to figure it out. Um, yeah. So I think I'm going to um, come back when these guys have their babies and we'll see what foals they produce. So all of our foals are now born, so let's go ahead and take a look at our babies. So this one is out of our, uh, like a silver bay mare. So she produced this little chestnut foal. It looks like it may have, um, 
either Sabino in it or Overo in it, um, some sort of paint marking. Um, very beautiful baby. Um, we don't know the gender of the foal until it grows up, so we have to wait for it to grow up to know the gender. But it's a very cute foal nonetheless. Okay, so our next one is out of our dappled mare. So she produced this um, bay mare, or bay filly, foal, bay foal. Um, that looks almost similar to her, except without the dapples. Um, I don't know if it'll gray out or not, um, but it looks to have some sort of Sabino going on as well, um, just like mom. And then our next baby is out of our Sabino mare and our gray stallion. So I'm not sure what you would call this color, but it's kind of like a bay roan a little bit. Not quite a roan, maybe like a bay dun. Um, no dorsal stripe, but it might gray out um, because the dad was gray, I believe. Um, but very beautiful foal. Um, the great thing about this mod is you're never going to get the same horse. You can breed the same stallion and mare together and it'll produce a different foal every time. So that's really cool. So each horse is like a one of a kind. Um, but this foal is very beautiful. Um, so I think I'm going to call it a day for this video. We have three beautiful healthy foals. Um, to end off our video with. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys all in my next video.